low density lipoproteins or LDLs, we want a normal level of that to be under 70 milligrams per deciliter. Now, if you remember when we talked about HDLs, we actually want our HDLs to be higher. We want, we want them to be above 60 milligrams per deciliter, where with our LDLs, we actually want them to be lower. The lower, the better. So our LDLs should be less than 70 milligrams per deciliter. Let's talk really quickly about what, what's the difference between HDL and LDL. If you remember with HDL, what HDL does is it travels around the bloodstream and it picks up cholesterol, brings it back to the liver. What LDL does, okay, if you remember, lipoproteins are really transportation vehicles for cholesterol. So cholesterol goes around the body via lipoproteins. It's kind of like the bus. Think of uh, lipoproteins as the bus that cholesterol has to get on. What LDL cholesterol is really bad cholesterol because as it travels through the blood, it deposits cholesterol into the lining of the vessels, causing atherosclerosis, which increases our risk for cardiovascular disease and neurovascular disease. So heart attack, stroke, right? So where HDL kind of brings it back to the liver, says bye-bye, whatever. LDL, what it does is it takes it to the vessels in the body and it starts to drop it off. Okay, and as it drops it off, this plaque starts to build up, right? It starts to harden and our, our vessels become more and more and more narrow, right? We're, we're born with really clean pipes, really clean vessels, super clean tubes. But as we age, as we, uh, as our diet changes, uh, and as we, you know, become more sedentary or for familial reasons, whatever, our vessels start to become dirty, okay? And you can think of that like dirtiness as your LDL cholesterol. What, what's going to happen is it gets deposited along our vessels and starts to build up this plaque, if it builds up enough to occlude blood flow, impede blood flow, we lose oxygen delivery to a portion of our heart or a portion of our brain. That's going to be a heart attack or a stroke, okay, ischemic stroke. So that's really why we don't like our LDL cholesterol, right? That's really why we need it to really be under the 70 milligrams per deciliter, okay? Some things that are going to cause an increased level of LDL would be diets and high saturated fats or diets high in saturated fats, nephrotic syndrome, alcoholism chronic liver disease, hepatitis or cirrhosis, hypothyroidism, Cushing disease, uh, sedentary lifestyle, things where we're not getting up, getting moving. Things that can decrease our LDL are regular physical activity. Okay, that's really the biggest thing we can do. Or if our patient is actually sick, we might see it in malabsorption issues, severe burns and malnutrition. All right, so that is LDL. That's low density lipoproteins. Want them to be under 70 milligrams per deciliter.